Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offro Electric and today again we'll work on Tatra. The okay, we finally have the cab uh, out. I probably possibly ruined this. Actually maybe not. This is for the shifter. It's exposed. This V10 engine. She wants me to say something. I'm a, I'm a looking. I <laughs> can't focus <laughs> on saying something. I'm learning. I'm watching. <clears throat> I'm not going to say anything. So this beast we are going to replace with, with four electric motors. And they will, uh, they will have a much bigger performance than, than, than this two-ton engine has. I'm trying to find a way, <coughs> what will be the best way to remove it. We finally removed the, the cap uh, and we can see the engine. Uh, before I remove it, I want to say something about that. It's a V10 16 liter air cooled diesel engine. It has 208 kilowatts or 265 horsepower and 1010 newton meters, which is 745 foot pounds. I want to remove the motor. But uh, first we have to remove everything what is around the motor to be able to do so. I think we will start with the intake assembly. Yeah. Do you feel the pain? Okay, maybe from here. Ah, this is crazy. I have to remove this part first to be able to remove that part then and then I can get into that part. I'm not going to waste here all my day, I'm going to cut it off. Okay, do you think I will get there now? New crew member, Mr. Oliver. I don't know how heavy it is, <coughs> but because everything else was heavy on this truck so far, I'm expecting it's heavy too. So 
intake is out and the next thing uh, we are going to remove this all uh, complete frame there was the spare wheel sitting on it and, but there is a lot of stuff uh, attached to it so obviously we have to do the first and then we will remove this all entire frame has a lot of work with it. Okay, I think we have this side done and then we'll now we will try the second side. left that just the major bolts that holds it together with the frame and uh, hydraulic lines and uh, I think then it will be free there is a water in this oil Okay, and now main bolts. I'm not that pretty. <laughs> Turn it around <laughs> like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't believe there is stuff. God, there's a bolt somewhere. Oh, they are here. Maybe. concrete or something or some super glue look at that what was there what is this concrete there is a concrete there around the bolts
did this because I had to remove the balls that were trapped over here in this, in this position. And now we have two more main balls and I think that's the last thing that it holds together. So hopefully we will be able to flip it like that and remove it from the Tatra. And it will be pretty heavy. What? Don't tell me it's welded. somebody <laughs> somebody was thinking about that I will be trying to get it out so the, the person put the bolt into that spot to remove this pump because I don't want to uh, get it damaged because it's pretty heavy when it sits on it it will break it I want to use it for something you know what I will remove it all This is the hydraulic pump with the reservoir for lifting up the cab. I'm actually going to use it for the, that pallet jack over there because it's broken and it exactly needs something like that. Sitting on something. of cake. because they are in the way so let's go and uh, I have to plug these holes obviously and 
this one. Okay, and now these big ones. And another side. Okay, we are tired, so uh, we'll wrap it up for today. And uh, next time we are going to continue disconnecting the whole motor, so the motor can a motor can get out from uh, from this chassis. And if you wanna support us through Patreon or PayPal, you have the links uh, links below. So see you next time.